Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can quickly set up the automated monitoring on our Kubernetes cluster, whether you're uh, using the GKE, EKS, or any Kubernetes cluster, how we can use the powerful open source managed tool of Robusta. So it is a very powerful tool, and we are going to do the testing. I've already tested uh, in the past uh, on the cluster. So what we are going to do, we are going to set up the fresh installation. So in past, I've made a video with regard uh, to the testing and deployment on um, EKS cluster and set it up. You can watch that particular video if you want to see. But this time, we are going to set up the client, client cluster, which I've already set up. If you want to see how we can set up the client cluster and do all the integration, like the QCD Helm, you can do that. But now what we're going to do, we're going to uh, set up the installation part of Robusta. So I've already created the repo, right? So what you need to do, uh, I'm going to provide the link of this particular repo, and you need to follow these steps. Uh, we are using the client cluster, right? And uh, first of all, uh, I need to show you that I've already uh, imported this cluster on my um, lens, right? And uh, I just want to show you uh, if I see the context, and if I do use the context, this is the name of the cluster, right? And we are going to use this uh, cluster uh, to make things working on our Kind of cluster regarding the robusta alerting slack and everything so i have done the testing uh, and i'll put on the testing two minutes ago uh, we are going to do the fresh installation so what you need to do navigate to this repo and follow the steps so uh, what we are going to do right so uh, simply download this particular script and i'm going to copy this guy and paste it here so let it let this guy paste it here one thing i need to tell you that uh, you need to make sure that either you are using the linux complete linux vm uh, to make this script working or uh, you can use the Mac, right? So I'm using the one to box. So if I do host name CTL, right? So I'm using this uh, Ubuntu 22 LT file. This is my local machine. So uh, we are going to run this script and we are going to create one generated values.yml file. So I'm going to make this guy executable. So make this guy executable. So same steps uh, I've already added here. Let's try to check the version of this uh, utility. And we are going to use the latest version because we have downloaded the latest script uh, from Robusta. We are going to use uh, this version. Right, and we are going to generate configuration. So, uh, generating of configuration means that uh, it is going to uh, provide us the uh, key pair and ask for the settings. For instance, we want to integrate uh, our Slack. It is going to ask you questions, so we need to answer that. We need to integrate Slack, uh, our Slack. So, I've already uh, have Slack channel. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply uh, copy this guy and I'm going to make the Slack channel work. So, I'm going to add this guy to Slack. And uh, it is that simple. You need to copy this uh, particular link, that particular link which is provided, and click allow. So it is going to be connected with your Slack account. That's it. Then it is going to ask uh, which channel you want to integrate. So I have these channels, and I'm going to use the alerts channel, right? So I'm going to say, I'm going to simply type alerts. Then we need to ask, uh, uh, then it's going to ask other question regarding the MS team integration. I, I'm going to say no. So it is going to say, uh, if you want to integrate a uh, UI link, robust UI link, which I've already shown you guys, this is the link. So it's completely free, open source, and we are going to do uh the connectivity completely in a secure way and everything is going to be encrypted because it will create the key pair private and public key pair and um, the communication uh from cluster to that queue is going to be totally encrypted right so i'm going to say yes i'm going to use my personal email definitely you can use your own email uh, here so make sure uh you can just simply do registration with that and choose account name let's say i'm going to say uh, kind uh cloud geeks uh let's call this demo right so I'm going to press enter. You see, it has been successfully registered. It is now asking, uh, do you want to use Prometheus, manage Prometheus as an alert source? I'm going to say yes. And what it does, uh, it made an entry in that generated file. Uh, I'm going to show you shortly, right? So I'm going to say regarding the license agreement and say it is asking if you want to send uh, exception reports uh, to improve Robusta. Last question would like to help improve Robusta by sending exception reports. So, uh, okay, let's say I'm going to say no. and it is going to save that uh, generated values dot file right and um, we are going to simply see that particular file right what has been there so you see it has private and public key so uh, send additional telemetry set to false uh, enable prometheus stack true enable uh, platform playbooks true so um, and sync with slack is going to be everything uh, you need to make sure you can save this particular file in a secure way i'm showing you as this is the demo so uh, it is going to use that particular file let's say uh, we are going to use um, some of definitely in name, other namespaces we are going to have the default setting but we want to add um, some custom stuff, uh, stuff regarding the detail monitoring. Let's say I want to detail monitor my specific namespace. So I've added the file, detail monitoring of specific namespace. I want to um, use this default namespace uh, for detail monitoring. So simply I'm going to copy this guy and, and create values.yml uh, file, right? So I'm going to say nano uh, values.yml file. So values.yml paste this guy here and I'm going to save this guy, right? And you see, we have these two files, generated values and values.yml. So now what I'm going to do, navigate back to this particular section and Simply, um, I need to export my cluster name. 
So uh, my cluster name, I've already showed you. You can simply use this uh, command cluster config current context. So you need to make sure you're in the right cluster. And I'm going to simply um, export this guy, right? So copy this guy, I need to export this cluster name. And the cluster name is this one. So let me type it kind cloud geeks. So simply uh, export this name here, right? And then uh, we're going to simply uh, make sure we can add this particular repo. So I've already shown you the Rebusta version and, and we have already generated this uh, configuration. I'm going to add this particular repo to make sure uh, I have the latest uh, version of the repo and everything should be updated. Now we are going to do the installation part. So uh, we have exported the cluster name. Now what we are going to do, I'm scrolling it down. Uh, some of the stuff in past uh, I've made regarding the EKS. So kind of stuff added here. So this is the cluster name. You can copy that particular guy. And uh, now I'm going to the installation. So I'm going to use this generated values.ml file and also uh, some of the stuff uh, has been disabled and uh, you can do uh, the testing with this. So simply copy this guy, right? And uh, simply paste it here, right? So um, upgrade install Robusta from this generated values.yml file. So uh, we are going to do the installation of Robusta. So uh, as we've already imported this uh, cluster uh, on my uh, lens, so I've made uh, videos regarding the lens. You see this namespace, uh, we are going to use monitoring. And if you, I navigate to this release section, you will uh, shortly see that release is going to be available. and. Uh, the installation process is now happening and shortly uh, you will see one entry here. So let me remove the other stuff and let me get back to the pod. So wait for a while. So it is going to do the installation part, right? So it will take some time, right? So we need to wait for a while. So guys, uh, you see shortly we have pending install and it has been two minutes. And if I never get back to the pod section, you see some of the stuff you are already seeing that uh, regarding Prometheus, Grafana, Robusta, Forwarder, Alert Manager. So Everything is uh, now, the installation process is actually uh, in progress. So guys, you see everything is up and running and now we're going to check the uh, logs of this Robusta forwarder. So let me go open the logs of this guy, right? And I'm going to scroll it up. So it is going to contact that particular guy. So if I never get back to this UI section and if I do the refresh here, and you see one of the kind CloudX demo is now available. So it is showing our cluster here and these are the status of our node, right? jobs and time everything you can see uh, in this particular powerful ui for free so uh, now what we're going to do we are going to do the testing right and let's say uh, let's say open this guy and take a shell to this guy i'm going to uh, create one pod right so let me do that so kubectl kubectl create sorry kubectl let's say run dash dash uh, kubectl run redis Dash dash image is going to be Redis. Uh, I'm going to put the wrong image here. And I just want to use, uh, first of all, I'm going to see detail monitoring in the default namespace and, and check the alerting how it goes. And I'm going to use the namespace, uh, let's say, is equal to default. So if I navigate back to this default namespace, uh, you see one pod has been deployed about nine seconds ago. And I need to check the logs uh, of that particular. Um, Deployment of uh, Robusta forwarder, right? So, and if I navigate back to this section, you see uh, as quickly we are going to see the alert, and it is saying as the detail monitoring setup on the default namespace, I'm able to see pull the failed. Uh, you see at least uh, one uh, image uh, of Redis in namespace failed to pull. So I'm going to see the possible issue reason, and alerting is very quickly done. So uh, let's navigate back to this section, and let's. Uh, sorry, I'm disconnected. Let me reconnect it. So guys, I'm reconnected now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, do the edit here. Let's try to fix the issue, right? And if I scroll it down, scroll it down, I need to um, check the image area, right? And I control F image, right? So you see, I need to update this guy and I'm going to say, let's call it latest, uh, save it. So pod uh, YAML has been updated and uh, let's try to wait for a while. Okay, uh, this is not a deployment, so I'm going to simply copy this guy. Or what I'm going to do, I want to show you the extra stuff. So let me remove this guy and see what happened here. So let me do the remove here, and I should be able to see some of the extra stuff which is going to be available regarding the you know uh, alerts on my uh, namespace. So this part has been done, right? And I've deleted that guy. And if I simply navigate back to the section, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm, I'm going to test, uh, do one more test here, right? So simply refresh it. 
and if I never get back to this section, right? So uh, I'm going to do one more test. So let me scroll it up. So I'm going to do uh, do one more crashing port test here in the default namespace, right? So let me do that. And what we are going to do, uh, let's try to simply paste this command here. So what it does, we are going to do the official testing from the Robusta regarding the alert. So it is going to uh, send, I mean, it is going to create this uh, pod on my uh, default namespace. So I need to wait for a while, right? So guys, you see uh, one more alert is also coming because uh, you see this crash pod is now showing here and we are easily, we can easily said, uh, see that uh, this has issues. So uh, this is the one deployment which, which is failing, right? And let me uh, remove the stuff. So, so see how quickly we can uh, see the result and do the alerting uh, and test this product in our uh, account. You see some of the logs regarding that pod. So uh, similarly, you can do a lot of testing. I have a detailed video I've already covered in my uh, previous videos and uh, you, we can uh, do uh, detailed testing. For instance, uh, what you need to do navigate to this section and uh, let's try to do uh, one more test. So you see this test uh, we have already done. Let's say uh, we can do some of the CPU throttling and other stuff. We can do that as well. So what we need to do, copy this throttling level. I'm going to copy this guy and simply I'm going to uh, import this guy and let's do the testing. So I'm going to create uh, one resource here and I'm going to paste it, uh, create and close. So this is the last test. You can do uh, the point here uh, is to see that uh, I just want to make we can see a lot of detailed stuff regarding the monitoring alerting. For instance, now we are going to uh, navigate to the stuff regarding the monitoring. So navigate to this uh, section um, monitoring. And if I navigate to uh, the section, uh, let's say services, and if I navigate, click this guy, reverse the Grafana, and let's try to do the port forwarding to this guy, Grafana, you will see one of the coolest stuff regarding, for instance, you want to monitor and uh, do the alerting regarding your persistent uh, disk, right? If you set up uh, like Redis uh, in your uh, cluster, right? So you can easily do the monitoring of the particular uh, stateful sets uh, in your cluster, right? So let it open. It will take some time. And uh, shortly, we will see some of the stuff uh, regarding the CPU throttling. I need to test that particular guy. So if I navigate back to the default namespace, so navigate back to the pods, OK, uh, CPU eater, uh, it is going to uh, eat some of the stuff. So they are calling it CPU eater, and we should be uh, able to see some of the alerts regarding that uh, in a while. So uh, I mean, this is the you know um, test cluster. So that's why some of the stuff uh, you know uh, using delays because of uh, networking and other stuff. But definitely, you will get an idea to do the testing. How you can easily set up, right? So uh, regarding the username and password, if I navigate back to the section uh, here in monitoring, right? And if I navigate back to this section config secrets regarding the filtering, if I type Grafana here, click this guy. And the password is going to be this from operator and user is the admin, right? So I need to provide this admin and I'm going to press control V. So to make sure that I should be logged in. So uh, you see some of the stuff uh, definitely because this kind of cluster is uh, definitely a virtualized stuff with containers. So some of the stuff you might be missing here, but definitely you get an idea how you can set up the monitoring and alert alerting in an automated way with the Robusta. If I navigate back to this area browse, and uh, click this journal, you will see all the relevant graphs. For instance, as I discussed, uh, for instance, um, uh, if we have status storage and uh, that what it does, it is going to create the persistent storage, right? You will uh, see the monitoring, everything is there. You see, uh, let's try to click this. And I'm not going to cover every uh, monitoring uh, tool here, for instance, uh, not every uh, chart I'm going to monitor. So uh, if you have uh, persistence set, we can do the monitoring of that. So definitely you can do the testing here. And uh, let's try to do the, the testing with the uh, alert manager. So if I if you want to see the Kubernetes computer says it's namespace pods, right? So uh, if I navigate back to this section um, and Prometheus namespace default, let's try to monitor some of the stuff uh, in the monitoring namespace. You will definitely see uh, what's happening, uh, happening with your uh, setup. For instance, we have pod running in our monitoring uh, namespace, CP utilization, resource quota, uh, definitely you will see uh, the stuff regarding to that particular guy. So it is loading, um, you see some of the stuff definitely as this is the virtualized cluster, but definitely we are able to see uh, the stuff regarding that. So every monitoring and alerting is going to be uh, available here. So let me delete that particular uh, part uh, from that uh, deployment, I should say, or is it a part, right? Okay, it's a deployment, so remove this guy. So guys, that is it. If you want to do the testing to this powerful product, you can do that easily with the current cluster and set up the alerting and do the testing. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.